สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. So today I am standing in the backyard of my parents' home in Bangkok, and I'm making something that I've been waiting all year to come home to make. Okay, I'm making something called m i e n g k a m which has been requested a lot. It's basically a bite-sized wrap, and it's got toasted coconuts and peanuts and lime and ginger. It's so good. But the reason why I had to wait till I get here to make it is because I wanted to use something called b e e t l leaves or bai c h a p l u which is what we're going to use to wrap it, and it grows like crazy in my parents' backyard. So as you can see, all this is bai c h a p l u and there are these leaves that are heart shaped, and it's got a nice earthy flavor. And if you don't have this, what you can do is you can use Chinese broccoli or gai lan. So basically, you want to substitute it with. A dark green leaf with a bit of an earthy flavor. Okay, um, you can find these. I've seen them in some Thai grocery stores, Vietnamese grocery stores, um, but they can be a little harder to find. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick some of these. So this one, just so you know, is too small. It's nice and tender because it's young, but I won't be able to wrap anything with it. So something like this is perfect. And just FYI, if you look over there, can anyone identify what this is? Bonus points if you can. All right, so I'm just gonna pick a bunch of these, give them a good wash, and I'll meet you in the kitchen. So I've picked and washed my c h a p l u leaves. Now, since this is a make-your-own wrap kind of thing, all you have to do really is lay out all the ingredients. So I've got here, okay, some shallots. As a, as you can see, Thai shallots are so tiny and little. They're like marbles. I've also got some lime. Now this is a Thai lime, and the skin is a lot thinner, and they're a lot smaller. This does make a difference. In this recipe, and I'll talk about it in the end when I when I cut everything. So I've got some chilies, some Thai chilies, some ginger, and I've peeled the ginger. Now these two are the most important things. I've got roasted peanuts. If you're allergic to peanuts, you can do cashews instead, and roasted coconut. So this coconut might look a little darker than you normally toast your coconut. You know, in North America, they like light and golden. We like it dark and Intense. So I am a little hardcore. So I got this coconut from a whole coconut. I took it out of the shell. I used a peeler to shave off thin pieces and then cut them into sticks. And then I just toast them in a dry wok until they're dark and deep. And you get a really nice, toasty, intense. Almost a little nutty and earthy aroma, and it really does make a difference. You can just start out with dry coconut. Just choose larger ones. Don't go with the shredded ones. All right. And one last thing is dry shrimp. What I need to do because we're going to eat them whole is soak them with hot water and allow them to soften a little bit. Otherwise, it'll be kind of hard on your jaw. So I've got hot water here, and I'm just going to let these sit in hot water for you know 15 minutes, however long. You know, do this first, and then just let them sit until you're ready, and that is it. So the one thing that you do have to cook really is the sauce. So we're gonna get that started. So the sauce is sort of a sweet, savory sauce. It's thick and luscious. Got lots of ingredients in it that are pretty similar to what goes. In the wrap. So first, what I'm going to do is I've got some dried shrimp here, and I want to blitz these in the blender until they're nice and fine. And I want to blitz it separately because dry shrimp shred really well when it's dry in a blender. Once I put water into it, it it doesn't blitz quite as well. And that's it. Look at that. It's like shrimp snow globe. And then I'm gonna add my herbs. So I've got here some galangal. Now you might look at this and think, okay, that is way too yellow to be galangal. That is how they are at my house. So we grow them in our backyard, and this is what they look like when um, when we just dig it up. So the galangal is actually a rhizome, and these are the roots. So I've just roughly chopped the galangal. And now I've got some ginger. This happens to be younger ginger, which is what I have. Now, just a little water, just enough to get it going. I save a little bit to rinse the blender after. Okay. Mmm, 
smells really, really spicy right now, actually. Don't worry, that'll cook down, it won't be very intense. So now, if you can get it a little finer than that, please do. This blender is not the most powerful of blenders. See, when I'm home, my mom doesn't cook very much, so it's not the most well-equipped kitchen. So I make do with whatever she's got, but you know, it always works. And now I saved a little bit of water just to rinse out the blender because there's always stuff stuck in there. Okay, to this, I am going to add palm sugar. So this looks like a lot of palm sugar and it is because this is a primarily sweet and sticky sauce. And also I'm gonna add some fish sauce and look at my mini fish sauce bottle. As I said, my mom doesn't cook very much, so she likes to buy smaller fish sauce because fish sauce does not last forever, believe it or not. And also some shrimp paste. So this is fermented shrimp paste, or what we call kapi, okay? Adds a funk saltiness and umami. If you don't have it, you can just add some more fish sauce if you wanna leave it out altogether. So in the beginning, you can crank the heat and get the sugar dissolved quickly, but once it starts to boil and the sugar is all dissolved, you wanna turn it down, let it simmer slowly for about five minutes. So here is the sauce and I let this go a little too long. So it's too thick now, it's still hot and it's quite thick as you can see. So once it's cool, it'll be even thicker. So if that happens, no big deal, you just add a little water. Mmm, smells really funky, fish sauce and shrimp paste. It'll smell better because now I'm going to add toasted coconut. So this is the same toasted coconut that I talked about earlier, except I blitzed it in a food processor so it's fine. And this is gonna add flavor and also texture to the sauce. So I'm gonna add maybe just that much first. Okay, and now roasted peanuts, which I also ground up a little bit there. See what we're at in terms of texture, and then I'll add, I can add a little more if I want. Oh, now it smells really good. I'm telling you, if you roast your coconut as dark as I do, you'll experience a whole level of aroma that you've never had before. It's really good. And you definitely want to let this cool to room temperature before you eat it because melted sugar is extremely hot. Oh, you know what? I need to taste this. Shrimp paste. Not all of them are the same and you've let it reduce, so who knows what it's like now. So you want to taste for flavor. Mm. I'm going to add a little bit more fish sauce. You want it to be primarily sweet, but a little bit of salt to help give it a little more, you know, personality. And I think we're golden. And here is the complete Mian Kam set. As you can see, it's a very beautiful thing to serve. I've chopped up my shallots into little cubes. Okay, you don't want it to be too big because it's quite pungent. We're eating this raw. I've also cut my ginger to be little cubes, so cute. The dry shrimp I've drained and patted dry, and so they're, now they're not too hard. Now, the lime. As you can see, I cut the limes into sort of little cubes with the skin on. And you can only do this if you're using Thai limes, which are very thin skin, so it's not chewy and it's not bitter. What we're going for here is some acidity plus that lime zest aroma that we all love. If you're dealing with big American limes, what you want to do is grate the zest, set it aside, and then cut off all the white bit and cut the flesh, just the flesh, into little cubes, then toss the flesh with the zest. Hey, that rhymes. Toss the flesh, toss the flesh with the zest, and then you sort of get what we're trying to go for here. And then of course, chilies, cut them really small because, you know, it can be a little spicy. So with my chaplu leaves, I like to snip off this little bit here, which can be tough. Some people just cut it off. So what you do is make a little cone with your chaplu leaves by doing that. Okay, just like that, then you have a little cup. Now you start filling it. So I always like to fill with the coconut first. And that's sort of the main ingredient. You want the most coconut. And then a few peanuts. The chili, you just, you don't want to grab it with your finger for obvious reasons. So I always like to add a little fork and put that in. One is plenty, I think. And a little lime, 
a little shallot. Shallots you can add one or two, it's kind of up to you. And same as ginger, you can add one or two. And dried shrimp, one or two. My mom likes to add like three, four dried shrimp. Um, so it's really, once you start having these, you'll figure out what ratio of different ingredients you like best. So now the sauce, it's pretty intense. So just maybe like a quarter teaspoon, just a nice dollop. I like to use the tail to sort of close it, make a nice bite, and here we go. Mm. It is a flavor unlike any other dish. If you've had me and come before, you know that it is so unique. You've got the toastiness from the coconut and the peanuts and balanced by the sharp, hardness of the lime and freshness from shallots and ginger, heat from the chilies, and the beetle leaves itself has a bit of an, an earthiness to it. It's got a unique flavor as well. And the sauce is sweet, a little rich. Wow, this is so, it's such an experience. If you've never had it, I really encourage you to try it. If you come to Thailand, these are available at a lot of different, sometimes supermarkets will have it, so even if you don't make it, I think it's an experience you should try. So the recipe, as always, will be on HaptaiKitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. If you haven't subscribed to the show, please do so right here. I'll put the button somewhere. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. <laughs> it would help if I plug this in. <laughs>